Hello friends, it's another beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get our day started. That means we're gonna stand up and we are going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, friends, so now we need to do the calendar. What is the name of the month, friends? What is the name of the month? It is May. Good job. It's May. And then now we need to find out what the day of the week is. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, so days of the week. We have yesterday was t Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. Let's go ahead and count to find out the date. One, two. Oh, let me move my face first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. And weather watchers, let's get together and watch the weather. So... I want you to go ahead and check out the window. I'm going to count back from 10, and you come back and we'll talk about the weather, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so the weather today, I want you to tell me, is it snowing today? No. Is it super duper sunny outside? No. Did you even see the sunshine this morning? I don't think so. Maybe a little bit, but not a ton. Mostly cloudy. So, and in, I know that it's supposed to rain a little bit today, but we're going to go with mostly cloudy today. Um, mostly cloudy, not a ton of rain, um, but just another cloudy day on Delmarva. Um, the shape song, as you remember, is down below in the show more. Only watch the first verse of the song. Those are the shapes that we review. All right, let's say the alphabet together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Nice job, friends. Okay, so let's see shape review. All right, ready? I'm going to point to a shape and you're going to say the name of the shape. Ready? Three, two, one. What's the shape here? A triangle. It is a triangle. A triangle has one, two, three sides. Let's pick another one. Three, two, one. What's that shape? A star. Good job. What color is that star? Red. Nice job. Three, two, one. What's that shape there? That's a square. Nice job, friends. A square. The counting song, count to 20. Get up, raise your hands, do a little bit of dance. Um, to counting to 20 and counting back from 20 to 1, which is a great skill to have, especially going into the four-year-olds next year. Um, our number this week is the number 7. This is the number 7. What's this number? 7. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the number 7. All right, are we ready to count? Perfect. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now let's count back. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one, zero. Nice job, friends. Our letter this week is the letter G. <clears throat> Remember, if you're making the G, it is a big curve. Little line up, little line across. And that's the letter G. And G makes the G sound. So let's do it together. Remember, if you don't have a mat and you don't have curves or lines, just stick your arm straight out and you can practice making that letter G with us. Okay? So start at the top. Big curve. Little line up, little line across. What's the name of that letter? G. And what sound does G make? G. Let's start up at the top again. Ready? Repeat after me. Big curve, little line up, little line across. Don't forget to check out the G song, letter G song, um, under in the show more of this video. Our nursery rhyme this week is Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. So she got scared. Um, the whole nursery rhyme with extra verses is also below. It's a cute little song um, that goes with Miss Muffet. Your music for this week is There was a crocodile and a orangutan A flying eagle and a slippery fish A bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant Na 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 So, super fun song. Miss Wayne loves that song, as you can tell. And The Cat Came Back, another fun little camp song. Our read aloud today, I'm about to show you, before we do that, we are going to talk about human growth. So the book is going to be about human growth, which is just that we grow. We start out as a baby, and we grow to be a kid, and then after a kid, we're a teenager, and after a teenager, we turn into an adult, and then we grow into an older adult. So that's how kind of that human, that's that's human growth, that's how we grow as humans. But we got a cute little book that Miss Nichols was reading to you all. So just give me one second and we will watch that together. Hi friends. Today I'd like to read you a story called The New Small Person. The author of this book is Lauren Child. The author writes the words in the story. Elmore Green started off life as an only child, as many children do. He had a room all of his own and everything in it was his. He was very proud of his room. He watched all his favorite cartoons on his own little TV set. No one ever changed the channel. He could line up all of his precious things on the floor and no one moved them one inch. When his uncle Cecil gave him a jar of jelly beans, Elmore could eat every single bean all by himself in whatever order he liked. There was no need to worry about anyone eating the orange ones because Elmore Green's parents did not eat jelly beans. Elmore Green's parents thought he was simply the funniest, cleverest, most adorable person they had ever seen. And Elmore Green liked that because it's nice to be the funniest, cleverest, and most adorable person someone has ever seen. But then, one day, everything changed. Somebody else came along. The new person was small and didn't do much, but still people picked it up and smiled at it and gave it thanks to Chew. They all seemed to like it. Maybe a little bit more than they liked. Elmore Green. The new small person didn't like watching Elmore Green's favorite TV cartoons and would squawk until the channel was changed. Elmore did not find shows for small people at all stimulating. But everyone said that the small person couldn't help it because it was only small. Sometimes the small person would come into Elmore's room and knock things over and sit on things that didn't want to be sat on. Once, it actually licked Elmore's jelly bean collection, including the orange ones, 
as anyone knows, jelly beans ha that have been licked are not nearly so nice. But everyone said Elmore could not be angry because the small person was only small. Elmore Green wished the small person would go back to wherever it came from. But Elmore's parents explained that this was not possible. The small person got bigger and things got much worse. One day, Elmore found the small person wearing his fourth most favorite outfit without asking. That's mine, said Elmore. It's not for small people. But I want to be the same as you, said the small person. But Elmore Green did not want to be the same as someone small. The small person followed Elmore Green everywhere. It wanted to sit next to him. It wanted to copy everything that Elmore did. It wanted to be everywhere that Elmore was. Where are you going, Elmore, said the small person. Nowhere, said Elmore. Can I come, said the small person. When the small person said things like this, Elmore Green would go up and sit in a tree. He did not want someone small following him around. One awful day, the small person moved its bed into Elmore Green's room. Now Elmore couldn't get away from him. It was always there, looking at him. Sometimes it would stretch out its arms and say, Hello! But Elmore didn't want to cuddle up with someone small. However, one night, everything changed. Elmore Green had a bad dream. It was very upsetting. A scary thing was chasing him, waving its grabbers and gnashing its teeth. Elmore screamed, and the small person bravely got out of bed and clung to him. Go away, scary, shouted the small person. It was nice to have someone there in the dark when the scaries were around. Aww. A few days later, Elmore Green was lining up all his precious things so they could reach from his bedroom door all the way down the stairs. It was a very long line of things. The small person was amazed. Ooh, it said. I could make them reach to the front door if I had more things, said Elmore. I have more things, said the small person. I have at least five or three things. You can have them. It felt good to have someone there who understood why a long line of things was so special. The next evening, Elmore was laughing at the TV. The small person looked at Elmore and then at the TV, and he laughed too. It was very funny. More funny somehow with two people laughing than just one. Elmore opened his jar of jelly beans. You can have a jelly bean if you like, Albert. His brother Albert smiled. Elmore smiled back. Whichever you color you like, said Elmore. Except orange. That's the end of our story. What did you think? Would you like to have a small person share your jelly beans? Do you have a small person? I have a small person. Her name is Miss Jessie. Some of you call her Miss Nichols. She's my younger sister. I don't like to share my jelly beans with her, though. How about you? Have a good day, guys. Thanks for that fun story, Miss Nichols. That was awesome. I don't have a small person. I never had a younger brother or sister. I was the small person. I have an older brother. So if you're the older sibling, that means you ha you know what it's like to get a small person. Whereas people like me, who are the small person, have no idea what that's like. And I just like to share with everybody. But my brother might not feel the same way. <laughs> All right, friends. You all have a wonderful day. I miss you guys so much. And I'll see you soon.